Dear Honorable Chair, dear Ministers, dear Excellencies, dear friends and colleagues, thank you for giving me, as a representative of the Czech Republic, the opportunity to address this important meeting of the global community. This year, on the top of the usual CND agenda, we are expected to achieve a meaningful, strong consensus that will herald the expected outcome of the United Nations General Assembly Special Session on Drugs, also known as ANGAS, that is to be held this April in New York. The Czech Republic fully aligns itself with the statement delivered by the delegation of the Netherlands on behalf of the European Union. We all know that the special session is being held at the request of several countries which feel deep concern regarding the ability of the international community to achieve the goals and aims set by 29 political declaration and the plan of action. We also know that we face a situation of escalated violence and an extreme death toll which is directly related to the so-called war on drugs, a war that failed a long time ago. I feel we are obliged to do our best to address the concerns of the countries that call for the special session of the UN General Assembly. We should not fail to, to help the numerous countries suffering because the war on drugs was exporting to them, them in its most violent form. The Czech Republic is devoted supporter of the principles of an effective drug policy oriented towards human rights and public health and based on scientific evidence and the best practice. The Czech Republic has experimented with different flavors of its national drug policy since 1990. Inter area, we depenalized the use of drugs in 1990. We also decriminalized the possession of drugs for personal use in 1990. Uh, it's a misdemeanor uh, that is punished by penalties ranging from a warning through to a fine. And after a quarter a century, we can provide conclusive evidence that depenalization and decriminalization do work. If you are interested in more details and more countries that took the, the same path, let me invite you to the site event that the Czech Republic is co-sponsoring uh, co today. Our drug policy rests on four pillars, prevention, treatment, harm reduction, and law enforcement. Each of them is seen as one of four tools of equal importance. All four pillars are there to achieve our primary aim, uh, the welfare of our citizens uh, and all people. We have some results to show based on verifiable data. We have the lowest number of fatal drug, drug overdoses per capita globally. We are in the small group of countries with the globally lowest prevalence of HIV and AIDS among injecting, uh, injecting drug users. We have a uniquely low prevalence of viral hepatitis C and B among drug injectors. Organized violent drug crime is virtually non-existent in the Czech Republic. Last but not least, thanks to harm reduction services, uh, some 85% uh, of our problem drug users are in regular contact with helping institutions. In this area and in many other areas of drug policy, the role of non-governmental organization has been positive and completely irreplaceable. Uh, there are things civil society does much better and more cheaply than any government in the world and is the approach of my government to use this fact for the good of the community and the nation. The data I just showed mean the Czech Republic is a country with a comparatively very low social and economic cost of illicit drugs. It is not because the Czech Republic is a drug-free country. It is because we have done our best to make the Czech Republic a country where the harms related to drugs are as low as possible. 
to minimize the use of drugs is one way to do it, and we have used it together with other ones. This is the experience we offer, and you would expect we also have some expectations regarding the output documents. Let me list the three most essential for us. The first is the problem of the death penalty. Uh, it's our long-standing conviction that neither humans nor human uh, institutions have the right to kill people intentionally. Uh, the evidence show uh, that uh, miscarriages of justice are even more common for drug offenses than in most other areas of law. Thus, we require that in the output document the unacceptability of the death penalty for drug offenses is clearly stated. Second, and closely related, is the proportionality of sentences. Proportionality is an important principle in effectively implementing the provisions of UN Drug Control Conventions and its main objective to promote the health and welfare of humankind. Not only do disproportionate penalties destroy the sense of justice in each particular country, they often bring adverse side effects such as criminalization, stigma and social exclusion, so that well-being is heavily affected. In today's interconnected world, the death penalty and proportionality in sentencing are international problem and must be reflected like this in the ANGAS outcome document. The third is the importance of harm reduction. There is a conclusive scientific evidence that harm reduction saves lives, improves public health and public safety. It's extremely important that we state this in the ANGAS outcome document so that it provides clear guidance for effective drug policies. We are fully aware uh, that drug policy is a complex area and also incorporates intangibles that science is not able to quantify, for example, religious and other values. However, there are also universal values that constitute uh, the very fundamentals of the United Nations and we cannot ignore them uh, at Angas. We agree that it is undesirable to abolish the UN treaties on drugs they have to stay as a foundation of the whole system. However, if we demand more of the same from the countries, no matter if it has demonstrably failed, we will not only deeply dis disappoint those who ask for a special summit at the highest UN level, we will risk the very existence of the international drug control systems. There is, a, is still a lot of work ahead of us before we have a meaningful ANGAS output document. We suggest that whenever we feel as if we are at dead end, we should go back to the origins of the current drug control regime, the protection of human well-being. In the view of the Czech Republic, no outcome document at all would be better than a weak outcome document for ANGAS. We would consider promoting a weak document that repeats the old stereotypes far too risky. It would be better to stay si silent in recognition of our failure, to learn from it and try a better looking forward to 2019. But that is not, uh, 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 that is not uh, inevitable. If we work intensely uh, with clear minds and hearts this week, we won't need to remain silent. We would have a strong document to steer us into a better future. That is my most sincere hope and wish. Thank you for attention.